In this video, we talk about one of the methods of integration called trigonometric substitution. It's an integration technique wherein an algebraic integrand is transformed into a trigonometric form. So we introduce a new variable to make this algebraic integrand trigonometric in form. Now, there must be a pattern that we see on the algebraic integrand so that we can transform it into trigonometric form, meaning it's not just any algebraic integrand. So we must see the pattern, either it's a squared minus u squared. So if you see a squared minus u squared, we let u be equal to a sine of theta. If we see a squared plus u squared, we let u be equal to a tangent of theta. And if we see u squared minus a squared in the given integrand, then we can let u be equal to a second of theta. So from this algebraic form, it is transformed into a trigonometric form. As long as we see these, patterns and if the integration formulas are not applicable in the given integrand. Now, in this method, we recall we recall the trigonometric identities sine squared theta it's a Pythagorean identity cosine squared theta equals 1 such that if we transpose sine squared theta to the other side, 1 minus sine squared theta, that's equal to cosine squared theta. Also, the tangent squared theta plus 1 equals second squared theta. And if we transpose 1 to the right side, that's 1 minus or that's second squared theta minus 1, that's equal to tangent squared theta. So we are going to use these identities to express these expressions in terms of trigo functions by substituting these functions to the given. So for the first pattern, a squared minus u squared, so we substitute because u is equal to a sine of theta, then we substitute a squared minus a sine of theta quantity squared. We raise it to the power of 2, a squared, sine squared theta, and then we factor out a squared because that's common. So 1 minus sine squared theta. But from the identity, we can see that 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta. Therefore, a squared minus u squared is a squared cosine squared theta. For the second pattern, that's a squared plus u squared. Or you can, you can write that as u squared plus a squared. That's in any order. We substitute a squared plus. So for this pattern, a squared plus u squared, we let u be equal to a tangent of theta. Therefore, we substitute that's a tangent of theta raised to the power of 2. We have a squared. We raise it to the power of 2. That's a squared tangent squared theta. We factor out a squared. It's 1 plus tangent squared theta. And from the identities, tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to second squared theta. Therefore, a squared plus u squared equals a squared second squared theta. For the third pattern, u squared minus a squared. So for that pattern, we let u be equal to a second of theta substituting a second of theta quantity squared minus a squared. 
raising it to the power of 2, that's a squared, second squared of theta minus a squared. We factor out a squared. We have second squared theta minus 1. And from the identity, second squared theta minus 1 is equal to tangent squared theta. Therefore, u squared minus a squared equals a squared tangent squared theta. So we are going to use these relationships according to these patterns in the algebraic integrand and we can transform these expressions in terms of trigo functions by using the derived expressions. So in the next video, we will be solving examples of integration using trigonometric substitution.